What is up everybody? Welcome to day two of 30 days of iPhone programming. Now today we'll be learning how to get um, a text value or really to read any text from a website or a document stored on a web server or anything you want really. So um, if you want to get started just go ahead and head into Xcode and you can start a new project. Uh, single view application is fine. I'm going to call this text from web. Um, and make sure you have the same settings as me so you don't run into any problems. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and create. Uh, so for this project we're going to have an IB action to request the data from the web server or to read it. So IB action, uh, we're just going to say get text because that's what we're going to be reading from um, the web server in a second here. And just to, you can do, you can display it any way you want, but I'm just going to use a UI label, and then I'm going to set the text of the label as the um, data that we get from my website. So I just called it label. Uh, now you can go in here, make sure you copy the get text uh, action over. So in here, we're just going to declare it, um, and we're going to add the implementation for it. Uh, so this part it has to do with uh, something called NSURL so you can start with that NSURL star URL and now this is where we're gonna set um, the URL that we're gonna be requesting from so NSURL URL with string now for me this is just gonna be my website where I'm gonna be hosting the file so I'm in the um, and I'm gonna be putting, putting the file in the Xcode folder and I'm just gonna call the file text from web. Now I haven't created that file and it's not on my web server yet but uh, I'm gonna do that in a second but that's what I'm gonna call it so since I already know the path I can just go ahead and put that in. Uh, now we're gonna wanna do an ns string star and this is gonna be the content um, that's gonna read um, what we just put uh, in this URL. So the content is going to be an ns string uh, string with contents of URL and that's going to be with the uh, string of contents of URL and that's going to be the URL we just had which is URL and then go to the encoding and you're going to do ns string encoding um, allow lossy um, and then the error we're just going to do nil because we don't have to check for errors it's not that important um, and then go down here what we're going to do is do label.text and we're just going to set the text equal to the content that we just pulled from the server. So that should be all for the code. And now to do your interface builder, we're going to add in a label. Uh, we're just going to delete what's there and shoot. Undo that. We're going to make it a little bigger to fit all the text. And put it in there. I'm just going to set it to set the alignment and here this is going to be our action button uh, get text you can call that whatever you want it doesn't really matter so we're going to put that down here and then we're going to attach the outlet to the label and the action to the get text button touch up inside okay now this is all we have to do in terms of the code um, so just go ahead and to uh, text edit and I'm just going to do uh, this is some um, text. That's going to be my message, and I'm just going to save that, the exact same file that I named down here. Um, text from web, save on the desktop, and close out of that. Now I'm going to go into my web server. I'm just going to copy text from web. I've already FTP'd into my web server, and I'm just adding the file in there. So it's copied in there and should be set to go. So now we can go ahead and build and run the application. So now we have the uh, simulator running. Now when we hit get text, uh, it should in a second get the data. And this is some text. That's exactly what we had in the file that we uploaded to the server. So now we can see that it downloads it properly and that is pretty much it. That's all there is to this tutorial. Now if you want to do more complex things, for example, when you do this, you'll notice that the interface, um, it locks up um, because it's a synchronous request. So it's not exactly, it won't let you do anything else until it fulfills that request. So this isn't good for 
implementation if you're wanting to do something like while a user is doing something else. So you want to do this um, in the background. Or you can learn about asynchronous requests, which um, allows you to do these actions on another thread, so nothing in the interface get, gets locked up. But that's a tutorial for another day, so just for now, this is an easy way of getting some data, um, basic things that you might want to display in your application that you want to update. Like if you don't have a database, um, if you don't know database code, you can use this. Um, just basic text files and writing in text. You can use this for some basic um, website stuff if you want to have uh, in your application. So uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to leave me some suggestions in the comments of tutorials you would like to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. The source code for this project, as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials, can be found on xcode.iminicrispy.com.